Hi, I'm the Rick in Rick Turns. And for today's project, I'm going to be making this Christmas tree ornament. This is a steampunk dirigible Christmas tree ornament. What every Christmas tree needs, especially if you're still living in the 19th century. Like my other ornaments, uh, this is made of uh, bits and pieces of stuff that I have laying around the shop from the years preceding turnings. I've got walnut on here. I've got some bubinga, I've got a small piece of purple heart, I don't even know what the little white pieces are there. And uh, I've got several scraps of brass colored craft wire on here as well. Oh, and here is a little piece of uh, water oak. So, this is not real easy to make because it has so many small parts, but uh, the end result is really kind of cool. And after all, nothing says Christmas like a fantastical object powered by an impossible drive source flying through the sky. So let's get started. So just what the heck is steampunk anyway? Steampunk is an area of science fiction usually set in the 19th century where steam engines rule the world and all technology is based on steam power. Steampunk is characterized by steam driven robots, by huge vehicles with steam engines, characters dressed in leather and goggles with weird looking guns, and of course by airships. My steampunk dirigible is based on some authentic engineering drawings from 1886, the heyday of steampunk dirigible building. It has a large gondola under the lift envelope, that's the gas bag, a nose cone that houses the forward-looking anti-airship steam detector, two engines, of course a smokestack, and a large rudder and elevators. Most of these parts are turned. A few are flat work. So let's get busy.
that's that. Okay, we're good. Now, <clears throat> here's a very tiny one quarter inch plugs that I cut. So I am going to take each one of these and I'll put them down in here with some glue and tap them in place and uh, let that glue set. And then I'm going to turn this again. Just want to put the glue down in there. All right, now I'm going to leave these alone for a half an hour or so before I try and do anything else. All right, this glue is set up nicely. I'm going to trim this down. Okay, here's one engine, here's the other engine. Well, that little piece, one quarter inch in diameter, and that will make the struts that connect the engines to the lifting envelope. That's thin, all right. That's a vernier thin, just about. All right, I'll go in there pretty well. This way and this way, good. So that is going to be the rudder. So these are the two little pieces that I just cut, the two elevators. I put the rudder back in place here. And the elevators are going to go in just like... Uh, oop, yep. Like two inches, three inches of craft wire, which I'm going to clamp right here, just right on the edge of the box. So now, I'll take my drill and clamp it down on here. Just like that, and now I'm going to turn it on slow to be my girders for attaching the gondola to the lift envelope. Uh, this hole I'm drilling is going to be for the axle of the propeller. These are my two wannabe propellers here. There's a prop blade there. And there's a prop blade there. All right, it's off to the vent saw. OK, 
Okay, the first one was a starboard propeller. This one is the port propeller. That's probably obvious by looking at it, but I thought I'd mention it. Okay, and that is it. Well, uh, like I said before, nothing says Christmas like a fantastical object with impossible propulsion flying through the sky. Merry Christmas to all, and see you next video. <laughs>